Before we get into this video today, I want to give the biggest disclaimer that I've ever given in my life. Uh, basically, I get an email from someone that allegedly says they are from Too Simple, that they work for the company, but they want to be anonymous. Uh, basically, they say that uh, testing self-driving truck technology on public roads are not safe. And then they send me a letter that I do not know if it is actually from the FMCSA or not, saying that they're auditing Too Simple from an accident that happened April 6th of this year. And then this person sends me a video of something that happened on April 6th. So nowhere do I know if this is true or not, but they are claiming to be a whistleblower for this company and saying that this right here should prove that they should not be testing self-driving technology on public roads. So the question of the day is, do you think a self-driving trucks should be tested on public roads? Yes or no? You know, uh, let's get into this today. So let me read to you this alleged FMCSA letter that was supposedly uh, written to Too Simple, and then I'm going to show you this video, and then I'm going to show you what happens in this video, and I want you guys to let me know what are your thoughts about this, but let's get into it. So the email reads, I am sending this anonymously uh, due to my position at Too Simple. Uh, the attached video and letter from FMCSA will speak for themselves. A testing on public roads must stop. The video shows the driver reaching over to engage autonomous system when he does the truck immediately makes a left turn hope you post this on youtube Allegedly, this is the letter that the FMCSA sent to Simple that this whistleblower sent to me. So I do not know if it's true or not, but let me read this to you right here. Um, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration is an agency within the U.S. Department of Transportation whose primary um, mission is to reduce crashes, injuries, and fatalities involving large trucks and buses. The purpose of this letter is to officially notify you that FMCSA will investigate your operations to determine the level of safety within your transportation operations. We will start the safety compliance investigation in person at your place of business at the following location and down below. So I looked up the address and so far that looks to be legit. Now, as far as where they are located. Now, please note that because your operations are of special nature involving trucks equipped with automated driving systems and because of National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has special expertise related to ADS technology as well as authority over safety of motor vehicles and motor vehicle equipment. Uh, the NHTSA staff will be joining FMCSA in this investigation. Further, we are aware that Too Simple uh, met with NHTSA staff on May 10th to discuss one specific crash incident, the April 6th incident, as described in Too Simple Standing Journal Order SGO data submission. So overall, it, it looks like... Uh, uh, they know of this accident uh, that this whistleblower is talking about, but I am publicly making it known. Again, I got to say the word allegedly a thousand times to let the world know that these are not my words. Uh, this is what the whistleblower sent me. And I cannot confirm as of now if this is a true letter, but you know what I'm trying to say. Now, when you look at this truck driver here, he does reach over to press something. When and he does, if you look closely, the wheel actually jerks completely on its own and the truck driver tries to counter steer it back. So from looking at this, if this is true, uh, do you believe that self-driving trucks uh, should be tested on public roads? Mother truckers, comment down below.